So it is not today that I've known him. I've enjoyed his grace over the last 20 years. You know, whatever you look up to, you will end up being like that thing. That's one thing I know. And that is the technology of Jacob. Whatever you look up to, you will end up what? Be like him. I'm a tongue someone here. So when you see the ministration and the grace of God on this particular man, you know sometime where we are eating our food from. Please, via the Joint International Christ Apostolic Church with a clapping ovation and with a smiling in your face and with a shouting of the Lord, welcome with me, Pastor Gideon Upa, for this ministration in our life. God bless you. Wow. Wow. You are Yahweh. You are Yahweh. Oh, you are Yahweh. Yeah. You are Yahweh. Ah, yeah, da, da, da. You are Yahweh. Alpha and Omega. You are Yahweh. You are Yahweh. Ah, da, la, ba, sa, Sing again. Yes, you are Yahweh. You are Yahweh. Oh, you are Yahweh. You are Yahweh. You are Yahweh. You are Yahweh. Oh, you are Yahweh. Alpha Omega. And you are Yahweh. One more time. Yes, you are Yahweh. Yahweh. Oh, you are Yahweh. 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 I will praise him from everlasting everlasting to everlasting. Come on, give him praise from everlasting. Will you praise him everlasting to Yes, I will praise him. Yes, I will praise you. You are the mighty God, and you are the great. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Somebody rejoice! Hey. You are the mighty God. You are the great. Hallelujah! Hey, hey! Oh, you are the mighty God. You are the great. Hallelujah! Ay, 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 ay! Katala! We are going to sing that song again. And, and anything that represents.
represents a mountain before you. Anything that is great before you. You are going to declare that God is greater than it. You are going to declare that God is mightier than it. Listen, I want you to let the devil know that God is mighty in your life and that God is greater than any situation. As you sing this song and as you dance, I declare the mighty God will show up for you. You are the mighty God of the grave. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I declare whatever situation you came in here with the one who is the mighty God the one who is the great I am is going to show you his power he's going to intervene in your situation if you believe he shout amen no sickness, no situation, no circumstance can stand this our God. Somebody shout hallelujah. Wow. I am so glad to be here today. You know, your pastor and his wife uh, have adhered to my heart. We were in university together. And um, your pastor's wife, I, I, I don't know what you call her. Do you call her first lady? Do you call her mommy Gio? What do you mama. call her? Mama. Mama. Your mama used to live with us in the same hostel. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. And then. The, the, I'm a pastor's son from the assemblies of God. So your mama's, your mama is also a pastor's daughter from the assemblies of God. So the, uh, uh, her, her father and my father were working together in the same ministry, and uh, so we were in school together. I was, I was much like her big brother on campus until this man. Began to <laughs> so he lived about one or two blocks from us. He lived about two one or two houses away from us. So I found out from time to time he will be visiting us. And I'm saying this brother. This your visiting is too much. Well, after 20 years, I understand why he was visiting. Please celebrate your pastor. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And one thing I've recognized about him the same sweet spirit the same humble spirit the same passionate spirit that he had 20 years ago or 21 years ago I can still see that in him can we celebrate God's heart? so I really honor you and thank you for allowing me come to be a blessing and I believe these three days will be a life-changing experience. Amen. 
I also want to appreciate all the men of God and, uh, midst, and the eldership of this house for allowing me to come. Are you ready for God's word today? I said, are you ready for God's word today? Matthew chapter 16 verse 13. I want you to stand together to read then I will allow you to sit. I want us to stand to read then we will sit. Okay. When Jesus came into the region of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples saying, Who do men say that I the son of man am? The next verse. So they said, some say John, <laughs> the Baptist, some Elijah, others Jeremiah, and one of the prophets. And he said to them, But who do you say that I am? Hmm. Simon Peter answered and said, You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. And Jesus answered and said to him, Blessed are you, Simon Bar-Jonah, for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my Father who is in heaven. And I also say to you, You are Peter, and on this rock I will build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail against it and i will give you the keys of the kingdom of heaven and whatever you bind on earth will be bound in heaven and whatever you lose on earth will be loosed in heaven Amen. you want to read how does that work okay okay that's great you say i've not preached with an interpreter in years so bear with me i i hope i'll do well amen let's celebrate this woman of god amen today while I was praying for this meeting you know I just went to read the history of Christ Apostolic Church and as I was reading the history of this church God began to speak to me about what he has given me as a word to you and in these three days we are going to be exploring something we are going to be God is going to be revealing something to us uh, that is locked up in the name of this church are you listening to what I'm saying <laughs> uh it was in 1941 or so in the early 40s that ba Ayo Babalola was used mightly by God. And this church church became a revival ministry. When we read about what God did with Ayo Babalola, we are, we are all humbled and fascinated of what God can do through a man. Well, I came like to tell you the God of Ayo Babalola, the God of those days, he is the same yesterday, he is the same today, and he is the same forever. Am I talking to anybody today? I'm trying to say, in your own day, in 2023, you too will experience the power of God. <laughs> your children will read about you. Just like we are talking about a man years back, I declare concerning you that this overflow that is coming will cause you to be a world changer, will cause you to be a world changer. Everyone that hear about you will know that there is a God in your family that there is a God in this city there is a God in this church so Christ's apostolic church is a powerful name for a church but just because a church has a powerful name does not make the members powerful you need to connect to the power of that name. Am I talking to somebody here? So these three days, I want to connect you to the power of 
that name Christ Apostolic Church it will change your life forever by the time we are done these three days you will walk in the supernatural overflow so tonight since I have three days today I'll talk about Christ is that okay tomorrow we'll talk about apostolic then on Sunday I'll show you what the church should be are you ready for that are you ready for that father bless your word today reveal yourself to us let everyone here be changed in Jesus precious name well before you sit down go to somebody and say tell that person I am CAC (laughs) oh my god my god my god tell somebody I am part of CAC oh you don't believe it maybe you are not proud of being a CAC member tell somebody I am part of CAC in fact tell the person I am CAC you may be seated wow wow so you stay with me on, on, on strings yeah Christ Christine Christ Christine <laughs> Uh, that name is not the surname of Jesus. <laughs> you know, my name is Gideon Mba. So, uh, Mba is my surname. Mba is my surname. Mba is my surname. Mba is my surname. Mba is Mba is my surname. 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 is is the surname. of Jesus. Mba is my surname. Mba is so Christ is not a surname. Christ is Christ is a title. Are you listening to what I'm saying? Christ is a description. Christ is an explanation. Christ is a demonstration of Jesus. Of who Jesus is. Of the power of Jesus. And the purpose of Jesus. Somebody shout Christ. Christ. So when you mention that name, when you say Christ, you are saying something beyond the name. <laughs> you are saying something beyond just a, 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 a name. You are talking about something that describes a different kind of man. By the time we are torn done today you will see how powerful Christ is so that word Christ means Christos that is the meaning in Greek it simply means the anointed one somebody said the anointed one Oh, say it again. Say the anointed so one. <laughs> so the Bible says <laughs> that <laughs> in this scripture we read, <laughs> Jesus Christ was asking his disciples, <laughs> Who do men say that I am? <laughs> what do people think about me? <laughs> and then his disciples began to respond. <laughs> they said, Some people think you are. You are one of the prophets. They think you are John the Baptist. They think you are Elijah. Some think you are Jeremiah. Listen to me. Religious people can never define Jesus. Religion can never make you understand who Jesus really is. Just coming to church 
is not enough because you were born in church like I was born in church does not mean you know Jesus <laughs> so when he asked this question he got the answer of the people and it was a religious answer you know the thing about religion religion is what you try to do to reach God to, 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 to reach God that's what you do to try to please God religion is what you try to do to try to you know uh, approach God in your own way but there is something higher than religion I said there is something higher than religion it's called relationship are you listening to what I'm saying <laughs> otherwise you just be a church going Christian without knowing the God of the church in fact you can be a prayerful Christian without knowing the one you are praying to because this church is not for prayer if you check it on internet even on Wikipedia so it, they will tell you they will always write that word Allah Dura Prayerful. Yes, which means this church is associated with what? Prayer. With prayer. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yes, sir. So I'm saying just praying does not mean you know the one you are praying for. A man was healed by Jesus. Yes, and by the time Jesus healed him, Jesus healed him on a Sabbath day. And the people began to blame Jesus for healing this man on the Sabbath day. So they asked him, the man, who healed you? The man said, I don't know. You don't know, need to know Jesus for him to heal you. Jesus loves humanity. God loves everybody. You don't need to be a Christian to experience his power. But beyond his power, he wants you to know his person. Am I talking to anybody today? Yes, sir. By the time we are done these three days, your life will be changed forever. So I can give you something that you don't know me. You can ask me for something and yet you don't know me. I'm talking about Christ. Human beings are they, they are designed to pray. There's something about human beings that wants to seek the supernatural. There's something about human beings that knows that they cannot live without the supernatural. So it has nothing to do with being a Christian. Every human being is looking for the supernatural. Some people have found the supernatural in church. Some others have found it in Babalao's house. Are you listening to what I'm saying? Some others have found it in some demonic places. But where there is fake, there's original. Oh, you didn't hear what I said. I said when there is fake, you cannot say fake if there is no original. I came to announce to you the God that you serve is greater than every other God. The God that you serve is higher than every other God. The God that you serve is what the Igbo man calls original God. He's only Igbo man that calls this God original God. 
because <laughs> God's evil man understands fake. Abba brothers, my brothers, they understand. So they, they titled, they named him original God. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You see, you get to a place where you know God. You will give him your own name. Oh, am I talking to somebody in here? Ah, yeah, yeah. Married women know what I'm talking about. Where you really marry the lover of your soul. Where you really marry a man you really love. There is a name you call him. Ah, yeah, yeah. Do I have any married person here? Yes, sir. There's a name you call him. There's a name you call her. That is designed for two of you. I have three boys. The first one is 12. Going to 13. The second one is 9. And then the last one. He came seven years after his elder brother. He was born during Corona shutdown when you lock a man and his wife for nine months you produce a child she doesn't even know the interpretation to that that's okay <laughs> so I, I, that last one he's about two years old so I call my wife B did you hear what I just said I call my wife B or B don't worry I'll, just, just, just. her name is Bethel did you hear what I just said Yes, sir. my wife's name is Bethel Bethel means the house of God my firstborn son is kingdom my second son is called influence and this last one is called impact wow. some of you are looking at me and saying ah, ah. kingdom influence and impact that's the name of my sons it's not a scripture the name of my sons wow. some of you pray thy kingdom come i don't pray the prayer i just say kingdom come So that last one, he hears me call my wife B. And sometimes he'll come into the room and he would dare call my wife B. One day I looked at him. I said, That name is not for your mouth, it's a name I designed for my wife. You can call her mom, you can call her any other thing this one is what i call her am i talking to somebody in here yes, i'm saying that when you have a relationship with jesus as you walk with him some people have called him some people have called him different names as you know him did you know most of the names you call him from the bible and names people gave to him which name have you given him who do men say that i am then peter responded okay so P jesus said okay i know what people are saying i can excuse what people are saying but i want to know what you that have been following me i want to know what you that have been coming to church i want to know you that have been praying and fasting who am i remember i'm talking about christ apostolic church who am i you are in church but who am i you were born in church. You come every time the doors open. But who am I? Peter responded. Now, I think there was silence at first. But Peter. Simon Peter. Oh, I sense that there's a Simon Peter here today. Simon Peter answered and said. 
You are the Christ. You are the Christ. The Son of the Living God. Somebody shout hallelujah. The moment Peter said that something happened Jesus responded and Jesus answered and said to him blessed are you you are not blessed until you know who Jesus really is the real blessing begins when you know who Jesus really is Somebody shout, I'm blessed. I'm blessed. You don't believe it, you said it like religious people. Shout, I am blessed. He said, Blessed are you. Pastor Johnson, it reminds me of Genesis chapter 1. Uh, verse 26. Go there, go there quickly. We'll come back here. Genesis 1. 26. And God said, let us make man in our own image and in our own likeness and let them have dominion over the sea over the beds of the air over the cattle over the earth and over everything that creates creeps on the earth this was the scripture that described how god made man and why god made man verse 28 verse 28 what did the bible say then god did what what did god do God blessed them and said to them be fruitful multiply fill the earth subdue it and have dominion <laughs> so it sounds to me that when Jesus said who am I and Peter responded you are the Christ immediately Peter responded you are the Christ <laughs> Jesus repeated the same blessing the same thing that God said when he created man and he said to Peter you are blessed so when you come to the re to the knowledge where you really know who Jesus is you are reconnected back to the blessing oh am I talking to somebody in here you are reconnected back to what makes human beings really blessed I'm going somewhere go back to that I said flesh and blood Jesus said to Peter flesh and blood has not revealed this to you but my father who is in heaven so what he was saying is this Peter what you just said now uh, you know Peter was a talkative Peter was always the first to talk when they saw Jesus on water he said if it is you ask me to come uh, Peter was the first to tell Jesus when Jesus said I'll, I'll die after, he said you will not die and then Jesus in that same scripture to told him get it behind me satan peter was the first to carry a sword and cut the ear of a man i don't understand this peter if you want to cut somebody cut him well why is just here you had a sword to cut a human being it's only here you cut but it's okay <laughs> uh, this peter He's, he's, he's a forward person. He's the kind of person when you come into a room. Do you know anybody like Peter? They are the first to raise their hand in the class. Some of you, are, I feel some Peters, they are laughing. At, they, they, they are, when they come into a room, you know they are there. Uh, Peters are quick to respond. Peter saw the glory of God on the mountain. He saw Jesus in his glory. And he said, Jesus, wait. Let us build three tabernacles here. Peter was an evil man. 
Jesus, let's turn this place to a museum. To a tourist attraction. People will be paying toll gates. One for you. One for Moses. And one for Elijah. <laughs> Peter was that kind of guy. Jesus looked at him and said, You don't even know what you're talking about. But in this particular situation, let me tell you more one thing about Peter again. He was the one Jesus said, You will deny me. You remember? What did he say? He said, Lie, lie. He was that Peter when a small girl saw him on that day. He said, Me, a me. me. <laughs> more, more guy, you. <laughs> more, more. <laughs> more, really? You say, I'm speaking Yoruba. Ibu should be able to speak Ibu. Don't worry, I stood in a girl with you. Came, so. Came, she. Uh -huh. I learned a few Ijebu. Clap for me now. Uh, the one I did not eat is in Fokore. I could not eat it, but I tried. This Peter, when the cock crow, he denied Jesus. But I, I prefer Peter than the rest of the disciples. Eh? Eh? Where was the rest of the disciples? When they were carrying Jesus and arresting Jesus. I know Peter denied Jesus. But he was around to deny. The other people they've entered night bus. Disappeared. I prefer somebody that is around. Which means Peter was still following. And he couldn't imagine that Jesus was arrested. It's better to be in church. And to be around God. And to be around God. And we are still trying to fix your character. Than to say because I'm a bad person, I will not come to church. Are you listening what I'm saying? Look at so I say, keep coming, keep coming, keep coming. Somebody shout hallelujah. Tell somebody, keep coming. Oh, look at the person. I say, I know you denied Jesus this week, but keep coming. It was that same man that denied Jesus. That after Jesus resurrected, Jesus came to him. He had gone back to his business. He has gone back to Peter and Son's fishing business. When Jesus came back, when Jesus has resurrected, Jesus called him. And at Jesus caused him to experience a mighty catch by the time he caught the fish like he had never caught before and he saw that it was Jesus Jesus came to him and said lovest thou me more than this how many times did Jesus ask him that question how many times did he deny Jesus? Equation ballast. He denied Jesus three times. But Jesus gave him an opportunity again to accept him three times. There's somebody under the sound of my voice. God is giving you a second chance. I said, God is giving you a second chance. Somebody is giving you an, God is giving you another opportunity. It was that same Peter. About 50 days later, he stood and he declared the gospel. I hope that little girl was around that day on the day of Pentecost when Peter stood up and he said, This Jesus that you crucified, I'm not denying him any longer. He is the Lord of Lords. I declare that 
that from today you will be so bold to tell people about this Jesus if you believe it, shout amen so on this particular day this big mouth Peter for once he answered right go back to Matthew chapter 16 when Jesus asked who do people who do men say that I am Peter answered right so Jesus looked at him and said Peter if uh, given by your kind of person you have just talked normally but there is something different about this your answer it is not flesh it is not blood it is not your calculation that gave you this answer it was revealed to you oh did you hear what I said it was revealed to you by my father who is in heaven what am I trying to say <laughs> Christ can only be revealed to you you are not yet Christ apostolic you are not yet CAC until like Peter Christ has been revealed to you you may come to church and this Christ is not yet revealed to you you may have the banner and the sticker of CAC but until Christ is revealed to you you are not yet part of us do you know how you become part of the church you don't become part of the church by signing a register by paying tight you don't become part of the church by being born into church this is how you become part of the church I said this is how you become part of the church by revelation my prayer for you today is that Jesus Christ be revealed to you my prayer for you today is that Christ be revealed to you when Christ is revealed to you that is the beginning of a prosperous life when Christ is revealed to you that is the beginning of a powerful life when Christ is revealed to you come on that's the beginning of a flourishing life when Christ is revealed to you that is the beginning of an overflowing life somebody shout Christ be revealed to me Christ be revealed to me <laughs> so what is the meaning of this word Christ it means the anointed one it means the Messiah somebody said the Messiah now the Jewish people always believed that there will be a man that will come from the tribe of David who will be the deliverer who will be the savior who will be the emancipator who will deliver Jewish people from their bondage so they always believed that God will send them a Messiah the Jewish people their history is filled with trouble from Abraham through Isaac through Jacob and then the sons of Jacob sold their brother Joseph to slavery in Egypt then there was famine in the land and then these people called the children of Israel because of the famine they went to Egypt 400 years they went through pain after the 400 years they came out through the mighty hand of God and then they lived in their own land 
they began to journey through the wilderness by the time they were ready to enter the promised land they had to fight there was always something about the Jewish people somebody was always fighting and then a time came they were sent to Babylonian captivity so if you look at the history of Israel they were always under captivity they were always looking for a messiah <laughs> so they believed that one day a man will come that will bring them to a place of freedom did you know that when Jesus was born the same Jewish people the same Israelites were under bondage by the Roman Empire are you listening to what I'm saying they were under bondage they were colonized did you, you hear of the Roman soldiers you hear of Pontius Pilate Pontius Pilate was not a Jew he was a Roman soldier who was positioned by Caesar in, in, in Jerusalem to control that environment so many times the Israelites were always under captivity and they were always hoping that one day God will send them a deliverer God will send them a messiah but the problem was when this messiah was born the same people who were expecting a messiah did not believe that he was the messiah am i talking to somebody here yes sir he lived amongst them they called him the son of joseph they called him a carpenter in fact he was called jesus of nazareth nazareth was an interesting place it's like saying jesus of ajegule nazareth was not a popular place he was not a lekki of lagos he was not uh, an ikoyi of lagos give me some very terrible part of lagos eh? no terrible parts as like okoko and what area yet you understand mushi so to say jesus of nazareth was to say something like jesus of mushi but the bible says in acts of apostles <laughs> chapter 10 verse 38 well i'm getting excited put it up there put it up there put it up there how god how god somebody say god how god anointed jesus of mushi you know what that means it doesn't matter where you come from when the anointing of the holy ghost comes upon your life oh my god did you hear what i just said when the anointing comes upon your life it doesn't matter where you come from the anointing will make where you come from popular it doesn't matter the family you come from the anointing will change the story of that family it doesn't matter the sickness in your body the anointing will change it for good somebody shout i'm anointed so the name christ means the anointed one hey the name christ means that so when you see him as your messiah when you see him as your anointed one the one who can deliver you the one who can save you the one who can who can give you all that god designed for you the moment you see him as the christ you begin the journey somebody shout he's my christ i'm not hearing say he's my christ so when this christ becomes a reality to you it changes everything 
So the first thing you need is the revelation of the Christ. If you are writing, write that down. The revelation of the Christ. The same way Peter saw Christ for who Christ is. The same way you must see Christ. But you know what? Christ is not revealed until the Holy Ghost comes on you. Christ is revealed by the Father through the Holy Ghost. Am I talking to somebody in here? Let me tell you about Christ. When Jesus walked the earth, he was called Jesus the Christ. Those who saw him for who he really is knew he was the anointed one. But he was Jesus. As Jesus, he was man. That is called the humanity of Christ. But he went to the cross. He died. And he resurrected. When he resurrected, my God, everything changed. He came into the fullness of his office as Christ. Are you listening to what I'm saying? Yes, sir. He died as Jesus, but he resurrected as Christ. Oh, you didn't hear what I said. I said he died as Jesus, but he resurrected as Christ. I said he died as Jesus, but he resurrected as Christ. The man that went to the grave was not the man that came out on the third day. Somebody shout hallelujah. I said the man that went to the grave is not the man that came out on the top day. I'll tell you about the man that came out on the top day. The man that came out on the third day was a different kind of man. Did you know that there was a first Christ? His name was Adam. Are you following me? Yes, sir. I'm taking you through Bible school quickly. His name was Adam. Adam when Adam sinned, all of us sinned. You didn't need to do anything to be a sinner. All you needed to do to be a sinner was to be born. Yes, sir. Who taught your child to, to do some silly things? It is the nature of that first Christ when Adam was in the garden he was the first Christ he was the anointed of God he had dominion on in the garden he had dominion in the earth he was able to name the birds he was able to name the animals he was the governor of the earth when he sinned the Bible says in Adam all of us sin but when Jesus came Jesus came in the form of Adam as a man so that he can die for all of us are you following what I'm saying yes, sir. <laughs> he came as man he came as the son of Joseph he came as the son of David so that he can die for all of us when he died that first Adam the wages of sin is death when Jesus was dying on the cross God killed that first Adam am I talking to somebody here I said when Jesus died on that cross God killed that first Adam because the wages of sin is death when Jesus hung on that cross everyone connected to that first Adam to that first Christ was killed but this is what the devil didn't know <laughs> that when that when Jesus died 
and he went to the grave listen everyone that was born through Adam when you go to the grave you don't come back but this one was different when he entered the grave and Satan saw him Satan knew this one is not an ordinary man and that's why he said lift up your head so he gets and be he lifted up you everlasting doors so when Jesus took the, the key of death and the key of hell he came out of hell but by the time he came out he was not like the first Adam any longer a new Adam was born am I talking to somebody in here when he resurrected he was the last Adam the last Christ am I talking to somebody I'm going somewhere right now but when he resurrected he was the only one that was the, the latest Christ the last Adam has died but this one was the, the, the first born remember when Adam was born when Adam was created all of us were in Adam so God created another Adam so that all of us can come into this uh, are you listening to what I'm saying Yes, sir. so when Jesus resurrected the only way he could now begin to create and reproduce this new kind of Christ was on the day of Pentecost am I talking to somebody in here on the day of Pentecost while they were praying the spirit of Jesus entered those 120 people and when it entered those 120 people when they stood up in boldness a new kind of Christ was born are you listening to what I'm saying? Yes, sir. This Christ is not just Jesus. This Christ is now Jesus and everyone who has the spirit of Jesus. Do you have the spirit of Jesus? You are now Christ. Oh, you didn't hear what I just said. So you need a revelation of Christ. And you now need to know that you are you now have a relationship with Christ. Let me begin to round it off. You know what that means from now. Every time you say Christ, you are not just talking about Jesus. You are talking about you and Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Oh my God, am I helping anybody? you don't believe me you don't believe me the bible says that when you become part of christ the first thing that will change is your identity second corinthians 5 17 if any man if any man if any woman if anybody in this room do i have anybody that is in christ if any man be in christ he is what are you a new creature? Yes. Oh, I, do I have any CSU people in here today? Yes. So right now, yes. I don't just have a revelation of Christ. Yes. I have a relationship with Christ. Yes. I now have a new identity. Yes. I am in Christ. Yes. Somebody shout, I am in Christ. Yes. Which means Christ right now it's not just Jesus like I said Jesus is now at the right hand of the father he is the head of the body we don't say the body of Jesus we say the body of Christ why that body of Christ is not just in heaven that body of Christ has the head in heaven but the body is here on earth am I talking to somebody in here if you are in Christ if you've accepted Jesus you are now part of the Christ walking the earth that's why you are CSC whatever Christ can do you can do if Christ can heal the sick you he can heal the sick if Christ is not poor you cannot be poor somebody shout I am Christ hey we 
preach me so you become Christ you become a son of God and it's over the Christian what did Peter mama. say you are the Christ Peter, do we pay one a Christian? the son of the living God so if you become one with Christ just like Peter said Jesus is the Christ the son of the living God it's so okay to say I am Gideon Christ you didn't hear me I am Gideon Christ the son of the living God well get out of your seat and go and introduce yourself to somebody and tell that person I am Fumilayo Christ I am Johnson Christ I am Tommy Christ I am Faith Christ I am John Christ oh somebody shout hallelujah I am not who I used to be. I'm a new creation in Christ. Go to five more people and tell them, stop looking at me like what I used to be. I'm a new creation. I'm a transformed person. I'm a new creation. I'm a brand new man. I'm a son of God. Introduce yourself to them. Come on, call your first name and put Christ behind it. Call your first name and put Christ behind it hey somebody shouts I am in Christ whatever Christ can do I can do whatever Christ has I can have whatever Christ can do I can do somebody shout hallelujah oh kadaba satala bahadaka so you are now a son of God. So when we say Christ, we are not talking about one person. From today, when you hear that word Christ, Jesus is one person, but Christ is not one person. Right now you are part of Christ. You are the extension of Christ. You are the body of Christ. Am I talking to somebody in here? This church is going to be a generation of people who are going to go out of this door. When you go back to your workplace, when you go back to your house, when you go back to your marketplace, I want you to function like Christ. Let me tell you a little about that Christ. Acts 10 38, we'll round off there. How God, how God, put it up there. Acts 10 38, how God. So, what you do now, you will not say how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth, you will put your own name there because Christ is the anointed one, and because you are in Christ, you are also the anointed one. Am I talking to you right now? How God anointed Gideon and Power also with the Holy Ghost and with power who went about doing good healing all who are oppressed of the devil for god is with him can you prophesy that over your life read it again how god anointed gideon also with the holy spirit and with power i go about doing good i heal those who are oppressed by the devil for god is with me somebody shout hallelujah Oh, I came to announce to you that you carry you carry in you everything that Christ has in him you have the identity of Christ you have the ability of Christ you have the authority of Christ do you believe you have the authority of Christ do you believe you have the ability of Christ I believe I have it Ephesians 2 6 stand with me we're almost done Ephesians 2 6 quickly somebody say I'm in Christ Ephesians 2 6 let's uh, go 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 to verse 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 4 but God can we read it together but God who is rich in mercy because of his great love with which he loved Gideon the next verse even when I was dead in tempests made me alive together with Christ by grace I've been saved even when I was dead in trouble the next verse the six and raised together and made us sit together in heaven somebody shout in Christ Jesus 
You know what that means? It means you have the authority of Christ, man. I said you have the authority of Christ. When a man sits down, sitting is an is a sign of authority. A king sits and he rules from his seat. I decree and I declare from today you are raised with Christ Jesus. I said you are seated with Christ. Everything that has harassed you, because you are now part of Christ, I declare that harassment is over. Somebody declare I rule with Christ. Declare I'm raised up with Christ. Say I'm, I'm sitting with Christ. And I rule with Christ. I thought somebody would shout and give God praise. As we round off today, my assignment tonight is to let you know that you need a revelation of Christ and you have a relationship with Christ that from today walk in the consciousness that just as Christ is so you are if Christ is not depressed you should not be depressed if Christ is not sick you should not be sick if Christ is not poor you should not be poor if Christ is not running away from witches and wizards you should not be running away from am I talking to somebody here do I have anybody that is part of Christ in this place today and I came to declare that whatever does not represent Christ in your life from today I banish it in the name of Jesus lift up your voice and begin to pray somebody pray Kaya la balas da kata la baha, makade se dele brada la sata ha, wuko tolo braka tala braka dele gede gede gede, masa dala braka ha. I'm in Christ. I'm in Christ. I'm in Christ. Jadala braka ta ha. Somebody declare I'm in Christ. Pray that prayer now. Declare I am in Christ. From today, I walk in the revelation that I am in Christ. Say from today, I live in the revelation that I am in Christ. From today, I live in the revelation that whatever Christ can do, I can do. Lift your voice and pray that prayer. Kaya da basha tala brakata ha. Ezza tala ba 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 shata. Zatole brakata la brakata ha. Zatala brakata la brakata le dega dega. Come on, somebody pray. Somebody pray. Galatas kata la brakata la ha. Oso pala ba ha. Galatala brakateria. Ezza tala brakata. In Jesus name. In Jesus name. Lift your hands everyone.